Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be testing out some natural-ish fun makeup that I picked out at Ulta. You guys, this is the cutest line and I feel like I've tried pieces here and there, but I have never seen a full-blown display that just like grabbed me right in and made me feel so excited to try so many things all at once. So we're gonna be taking a makeup journey uh, through a bunch of new Pacifica makeup. They have a killer shade range. This is an oil-free anti-shine satin finish product, glass jar. This is a vegan cruelty-free clean foundation. Now, this is the first one of its kind that I have seen in mass market that has the shade range that it does, that has all the call outs that it does. I'm gonna wear this all day long, do some check-ins for you guys. I love doing those. And initially I was just gonna do the foundation, but I was like, huh, like they have other things that I feel like we wanna know about. So they have this cherry infused, cherry balm, cherry cheek powder, <laughs> say cherry 5,000 times. So it is formulated without petroleum, parabens, phthalates, and these are vegan products not tested on animals. I like the theming of everything. Like this one's really super cute, the cherry theme. This is what we'll use for our blush today. And then this guy, this is actually what did it. Totally gorgeous with all the crystals on here. I love the names of everything and how they go hand in hand with, you know, semi-precious stones. Let's just kind of open her up before we even get started. Okay, we're in. That's actually a lot different than I thought it would be, not gonna lie. I actually thought it would be taking up a lot more space in here. I hadn't seen the inside yet and I hadn't gone online to see the inside. I do really love that they tell you all about the different crystals and kind of what they do and what they're about. I'm gonna go in with another brand that is clean-ish, you guys. Do your homework, do your research, do what feels good for you. If you like certain ingredients in your products, go for it. If it doesn't bug you and you don't think it's an issue, stay with what you love but I like exploring these brands and a lot of it does make sense to me. I know that I did a video about clean makeup and a few people are like, there's no such thing, it doesn't matter. And you know, there are elements within the clean movement, if you will, that I really appreciate. And I think it's meant to help and not to be something based out of fear. So that's just kind of how I take it. I don't think you need to like go through your house and like throw away everything, ah, you know? Just being mindful, like isn't that such a great thing? To be thoughtful with the choices that you're making for your beauty routine, for how you take care of yourself, what you eat, what you put in your body, you know, all of that. Okay, so this is a more hydrating, Primer. It's actually got like the nicest, subtle, subtle, subtle glow to it. This one I have used before, but my sister took it. <laughs> I got it when I was at the Nylon Awards. And this is actually really nice to mattify and prime just like particular areas if you're like me and you have skin that is both oily and dry. That primer I already know I really do enjoy. This is a new one, but it does feel like it hydrates and it has like a nice sheen to it, but it's not sparkly or overly glowy. I'll show you guys like on the palette right here. It's really nice. Oh, no, that's not how it goes. There was recently a video made of me literally being clumsy for like two minutes straight. And I just wanna let whoever made that video know how much I appreciated it and how it really made me smile because you'd have a lot more to work with if you could see my entire day. Let me just say that. I'll try to link that video below, the clip below. It was really funny. Okay, so this has a pump. I was trying to like pull it out like it was a doe foot applicator. Um, no, it's a pump. So I think what we should also do is learn about some of the call outs with this foundation. So I'm gonna go to their website. It says you're going to obtain flawless coverage. We really don't know what that means because I usually like to know if it's gonna be sheer, medium, or full because flawless can really be in the eye of the beholder. I like a full glam moment. Usually products that are more natural or natural-ish, clean-ish, whatever we're calling it, don't have enough pigment for me. So I'm really curious to see how this plays out. It comes in 30 shades. This is formulated without talc, which does tend to irritate my skin and is in a lot 
of face products. This is also formulated with coconut water, just a little bit. I'm hoping that's not an issue for me. I've let you guys know in the past that that's like not my personal favorite. So we're gonna go in with my beloved Beauty Blender and we're just gonna get to business. Why am I so bad at that? <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna survive this together because I got two shades. That was the shade 26 medium. I bought this when I had more of a self tan. I promise, I'm not totally crazy. Oh my God, that is a full coverage moment. I mean, this is kind of covering everything right now. That is not what I expected. Why is this? This is like paint. I like it. Oh my, what is, what is in here? This is so full coverage. Stop that. Pacifica, you're erasing me. I'm being erased. Oh my God. I love it. This is just really what I want out of a foundation is for it to erase all of me so I can paint myself just how I see fit. You know, that's what I want. <laughs> Um, we're still going. I haven't gotten more product. I mean, is this like a crystal prayer come to life for my face? What is going on? I still have not grabbed more. It's like the everlasting foundation. You don't need a lot. You barely need any. I look like the mask. I don't need concealer. Look, the entire week of no sleep, gone. Like, snap, dude. I think this could be one of those like underrated products. Up close, this already looks a little bit hydrating, hydrating. Like I don't want to say greasy because this is oil free. There is something very moisturizing in here. I am curious to see how this holds together with powder. Um, but the next thing that I do want to do is put on some concealer and I do have their liquid cover. Now this says right on it, full coverage. This one did not. So I'm really curious just how full coverage cause it's like loud and proud right there. This one is this foundation, the tiniest bit went so far, but I feel it on my face. I, I don't like it when makeup doesn't dry down a little more than this. So I'm not loving that, but we'll see. I am super, super impressed with the coverage. You know, like the coverage blew my mind because normally it's just not like that for, you know, these kind of brands. All right, it's so hydrating that it's kind of like sticking to my face. We're gonna work past that. I'm gonna set my under eye area with a little bit of CoverGirl Advanced Radiance, like I always do. I'm gonna move straight into baking, kind of doing a lot of the same steps I normally do with my routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of that up and I'll be right back. And we're back. I have mixed emotions about everything so far, you guys. You know, putting powder on top of this, it baked really well. I even did a little bit of contour and that blended in so nicely. And I love kind of trying contour cream form on top of foundation that I'm new to testing, either under or over. I generally prefer under, but I always like to see how things mesh with one another as far as consistency and blend. And this foundation is so emollient that it definitely made blending in cream contour very, very easy. As far as setting it, it looks beautiful on the skin. The only thing that is giving me like a teeny tiny little bit of like eh, is I can feel it. Like it's that kind of makeup that you can feel that you're wearing it. It doesn't really feel like, like it doesn't feel like locked in and tight. It just kind of feels like on the verge of getting really, really greasy. And I don't know why, but we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna go in to Cherry Spirits, the top one, just grab a little a little bit of something nice and rosy. I also put on a Lawless Lippy. I will do a, a quick little insert for you guys, keeping with the natural theme. You guys know, I talk about these all the time. Really, really wonderful liquid lip. 
wears beautifully. I featured it in the under 25 Sephora video. I'll link that below, but like really one of my favorite liquid lips period because it just does not dry your lips out. This is pretty. I actually super love that. More than I thought I would, wow. Pacifica. Ooh, that is beautiful. All right, I wish I had bought the bronzer too, but this is totally nice. That blended like magically, beautifully, perfectly into everything else. So hello, that is a huge winner. I wanna move in to a little eyeshadow because I'm so curious about this crystal themed love stoned palette. I think we all are like, the foundation's exciting. It's always exciting to see like, does it work, does it not, does it cover, what's the texture, does it wear all day, all that. But as far as like the immediate gratification, like I love trying eyeshadow. So like this is the moment. We're gonna go in the palette. I wish they had utilized more of this open space. I don't know, I get they're trying to do like a crystal shape, I guess, but I just feel like this palette didn't need to be as big as it is. I'm gonna go into the shade Garnet, which is just a beautiful deep burgundy as expected. And I'm gonna go straight into the crease. This could be a mistake. What did I just say? This could, be, ooh, I shouldn't have dusted my bake off first. Wow. Did not think that one dunk in there would give me this much pigmentation. Wow. You guys, like I'm still on one color and I kind of drifted off into like la la land, like just blending, but I had intended, and I know I always say this and people would be like, oh, you always say that to my. Um, I wanted to do like, natural clean makeup, like a light, like springtime fresh, kind of nice flower crystal vibe. And here we are with dark red essentially in the crease. And this is blending really beautifully. I like it. I like it. I like it. Taking their Coconut Essence Hydro Mist. I won't be spraying this on my entire face, but I have it here. This one I think was sent to me none of the rest was. Everything else I purchased myself. Pink Sapphire, I'm now gonna pick up on a flat brush. Ooh, really pretty. I wish there was like a dark chocolate brown in here. I don't wanna go in with any blue or green. I don't want it to be like too crazy crazy. I am gonna line the eyes using black tourmaline. Hello, favorite stone of mine. Negativity be gone. And Tiger's Eye is also a great stone. I actually used to work with semi-precious stones quite a bit back in the day. I sold jewelry. I have a, a pretty decent education on what different stones do and their meaning and you know what signs they are joined to and all of that. It's pretty cool. I find it really, really fascinating. So I am gonna go in to, I think I am gonna go into Tiger's Eye and just kind of pat this just ever so slightly on the outer edge, just for a little bronze type of a grab. And now we're gonna take a flat brush. I'm gonna mist it again and go in with that black tourmaline. Wow, you guys, these colors are rich. So I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, a pointed, Oh, this is for your brows, but whatever. You can use makeup tools however you please. Know that, empower yourself to do what you need to do. I'm really, really enjoying this palette. Like the colors that I've tried blend really well. The black for the liner worked really great. I'm gonna take the shade Citrine. I'm gonna go underneath the brow. Pretty, pretty. And I also wanna highlight the cheekbones. We haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Moonstone and Citrine. There's another one in there called Opal that's just a little more lavender that I don't think will look that great on me. The highlighters are a little bit dusty. Like I can even see putting this on, like it's kind of dusting a little bit everywhere. It's pretty. Yeah, I like it. It gives kind of like this subtle, nice glow, but it definitely has that metallic punch where you can totally see a highlight happening. Um, what do I need to do now? I need to do mascara 
and lashes, and then we need to go like this and pray to God that the foundation lasts all day. So let me go ahead and do that. I really like this makeup, you guys. It still feels a little bit weird as far as the foundation is concerned, but the eye look turned out beautiful. I love that it is pink and kind of, you know, feminine, but still has a smoky type of a feel. I love the two shades that I used. Tiger's eye was beautiful. The liner is beautiful. Everything there, A plus, love it. Love the blush, like, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Makes me want to get more, makes me want to get the um, bronzer. So I've discovered a lot of really, really nice things here. Oh wait, I forgot my setting spray. This is a pineapple flower oil-free matte mist with hyaluronic acid. I like that that's in there and it says it's good for oily or combo. See you guys in a little bit. My oh my oh my, you guys, this is surprisingly really nice foundation. A little more hydrating than I would personally like on a day-to-day -day basis <laughs> and also super full coverage, which we saw. Puka knows whenever we're about to leave, like he's freaking out. Puka, I see you. We don't even say anything and he starts totally spazzing out. I don't get, do your dogs do this? My little boy is like, what, what is even happening? Okay, I gotta go. We're off to dinner. I will do another check-in when we get back. But it's been like four and a half hours of this on my face so far and it looks pretty good. Yes? Yay. Awesome. You okay. look beautiful. Thank you, honey. All right, you guys, so I have not picked up a powder brush, powder, blotting sheet, none of that. I wanted to show you just what has happened. It has gotten a little bit greasy. It is now almost midnight. So it is pretty gosh darn late. I've had this makeup on for a very, very long time. This is not as long wear as other formulas that I love. I will break down the pros and cons really quick for you guys because I do think that a lot of people will really, really enjoy this foundation that look for specific call outs like, you know, not having talc in the formula, having no parabens, a cleaner formulation. If you're really into that, you will love this. If you have specifically been searching for something more full coverage. The shade range is excellent. I think the way the product applies is so even and easy and it disperses so quickly. It's really, really nice. It is very hydrating. So when you see the oil-free call out on there, don't think that this is like a matte foundation by any stretch. It's it's hydrated me <laughs> and I'm wearing, you know, on my T-zone, an oil prevention primer. So I'm shocked that I'm as shiny as I am but it didn't fall apart or break apart. So that's the good thing about this. If you have drier skin or combo skin that leans dry, I think you will love this. And if you don't, just use a powder, but don't expect it to last, you know, 10, 12 hours. It won't, it's about an eight hour wear time and you're gonna be a little shiny. So yeah, that's that. As for everything else, I love the blush. Can, I have not touched up the blush and it is still on. And I think that's so impressive. My eyelashes are popping right off. They're, they're done. The shadow did crease, but it blended so nicely and it was like so pigmented that I kind of don't mind. It was a decent makeup day. Not my favorite ever, but I think there are a lot of good things here. It's been a good wear test. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. I have a special guest coming tomorrow and I won't be able to upload the video for a minute, but you guys, oh my gosh. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. I cannot believe who I'm filming with tomorrow. <sighs> It's going to be good. I'm going to put a mask on so that I can feel like kind of good for tomorrow. And you'll see that video in a couple of weeks. So make sure you are subscribed, ring the bell, do the things, leave good kind comments and be nice to one another. And just know that I love you so much. And I appreciate you for watching and hanging out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.